Hey guys, welcome to the future. I'm Jim Pytel, your instructor for EET 111 at Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. Today we're going to discuss the Maximum Power Transfer Theorem, which is very closely related to Thevenin's Theorem. Okay, last class we went over Thevenin's Theorem and we had a super complicated network with a current source and a voltage source and a bunch of resistors hooked up in series and in parallel and we came up with the Thevenin equivalent of 22.5 volts hooked up in series with a Thevenin equivalent resistance of 18.75 ohms. We had an example where we had a load resistor of 100 ohms hooked up to it and we came up with a voltage across the load at 18.95 volts and a current for the load 189 milliampers. Power to the load was 3.591 watts Power total was 4.264 watts. And efficiency of the whole system was 84.2%. So we kind of want to know <coughs> what value of the load will give us conditions of maximum power. Okay, without mentioning the theorem, what we're going to do is actually just go ahead and pick a resistor at random. And you can do this on an Excel spreadsheet, basically showing yourself the power as a how it changes as a function of resistance. And I've gone ahead and put that on the Moodle site, so if you wanted to go ahead and click on that Excel spreadsheet and come back to the lecture, and you'll see exactly what's happening here. Okay, so I'm going to randomly pick a new RL. So that we're going to put a wall here. That's for 100. And I'm just going to pick, uh, let's see, when RL is equal to 4 ohms. Okay, we can already see that 4 ohms, so this is for when it was 100 ohms, when RL is 4 ohms, we've got a series relationship with an 18.75 ohm resistor and a 4, so it's going to do less, have less voltage, thereby implying that our power is going to go down. However, our current will increase because there's a total resistance now of 18.75 plus 4, which is substantially lower than our earlier resistance of 100 plus 18.75. So, VL is equal to the current, excuse me, the voltage divider rule of 4 divided by 18.75 plus 4 times 22.5. So, 4 divided by 4 plus 18.75 times 22.5 is equal to 3.956 volts, which is a lot lower than our earlier answer of 18.95. So I to the load, when it is a 4 ohm resistor, is equal to the total applied voltage, 22.5 volts, divided by the total resistance, 18.75 plus 4, to 22.5 divided by 18.75 plus 4 is 989 milliamps. So power to load is 3.956 times that is 3.913 watts. Okay, it's a little bit bigger than our answer of 3.9. 591 watts than at 100 ohms. But this bracketing approach would be pretty useless if we had to keep on changing resistors out. What the maximum power transfer theorem states, the maximum power delivered to a load resistor is equal to the load resistor when it is equal to Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So, for this particular network, that means RL is equal to RA, RTH, which equals 18.75 ohms. Okay? So, when RL, we make our little block. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do our efficiency here. So, Mix this for a second over here on the right, and let's go back to do our efficiency here. So power delivered 
to the uh, excuse me total power for this system was 22.5 volts times our current of 989. Efficiency is equal to our power out, which is our power to our load, this guy right here. Divided by our power in, which is our total power, 22.25 watts. And that efficiency is 0.5. Seventeen point six percent. Okay, so you see, it's basically it's gotten a slightly bigger power here at three three point nine one three watts, but our efficiency is seventeen point six. Okay, what is? We're going back up here. The conditions of maximum power when the RL equals RTH. In this case, eighteen point seven five ohms. What is the power delivered to the load? Well, it'll be at its maximum because it's satisfying the conditions of the maximum power transfer theorem. Let's go ahead and figure that out. Voltage to the load is equal to 18.75 divided by 18.75 plus 18.75 times the applied voltage 22.5, 11.25. Super easy to calculate. Okay? I to the load, current to the load, is equal to 18.75 plus 18.75. Below the total applied voltage, 22.5. You know, it makes your calculations pretty easy too. 22.5 divided by 600 milliamps. Now, power to the load is equal to the voltage across the load times the current delivered to the load, through the load, excuse me, 600 milliamp years times 11.25 volts. What we get is 6.75 watts, substantially greater than either our 3.913 achieved when it was a 10 ohm resistor and substantially greater than the power to the load when it was a 100 ohm resistor. Okay? So now, power total, however, is equal to the total applied voltage times the current. So 22.5 times 600 milliampers, 13.5 watts. So, what we get here is a situation where our efficiency, power out, which is power to the load, divided by power in, which is total power, is only 50%. So this is a price to pay. This is a situation where your efficiency suffers as a direct result of the maximum power to the load. So again, I've got the Excel spreadsheet on the, uh, on the Moodle site. I encourage you to download that and take a look at that graph. And I need you to keep in mind that the maximum power transfer theorem, though closely related to Thevenin's theorem, is not Thevenin's theorem. But stated quite simply, the maximum power achieved for a load resistor is when that load resistor is equal to the Thevenin equivalent resistance. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation, and you should, get, should be able to map out, I believe, let's see, I think it's section 19, excuse me, 19, 9.5, the maximum power transfer theorem, and you should be able to knock out some of the exercises in there and the homework problems in the back of the book. We will continue on with Norton's theorem.